Good morning, family. <laughs> My name is Gage, as you just heard. It's good to meet you guys if I haven't met you. And I'm here today to testify of the faithfulness of our merciful God and on the prayers of the saints. This past week has been a week I'll remember and have burned in my heart for the rest of my life. And I hope this testimony gives you faith for just how good our God is. This week can be described simply in one word, holy. This week has been set apart other than, than any other week in my life. And I believe it's a turning point in God's story and a tipping point in history. It began on Sunday night when me and my best friends decided to drive to Asbury College in Kentucky because we heard a revival broke out. Six hours later, we found ourselves in that chapel. And if I could tell you what the experience was, it was the simplicity of his presence, the centrality and the purity of Jesus. And his presence brought old and young together. Olds running to the altar in desperation, the young crying out and giving up everything to behold him. Authentic and true repentance. Relationships and families restored. Marriages restored as they got up and repented. The sick healed. And true restoration for the saints as we sat in our king's presence. A prophetic picture my friend had to help frame what Jesus is doing. The man of war is tired of a church and our nation being stagnant, a dead stream. And God poured out his presence in Asbury to stir a whirlpool. And he brought colleges, campuses from all over, saints, young and old, from all over the world to be sent out to cause whirlpools of his divine, holy disruption to the hour we're in. So no matter where you go, you can't help but be pulled into the center because his desire is to save a generation for the church to come alive. And to save the nations. Do you believe he's here? Because Jesus is here and he's ready for our response. And I speak faith, life, and hope to you today that what was possible there, and if you have simple faith and a desperation cry in your heart today, God is ready to do it here. God said he's going to pour out his spirit in these last days. God said if we humble ourselves and seek him and pray, he would heal our land. And I'm here as a living testimony to tell you here today, his spirit is on the way. Revival is on the way. The restoration of the church is on the way. Healing for the land is on the way. A generation reached with salvation is on the way. As we have gathered for 70 hours in the prayer room, we have seen souls saved, healings, people from all over flooding for the simplicity of God is with us. Church, he has heard our prayers and he is ready to pour his spirit out. The question I have and leave with you today is are you ready when God comes? And will you be a part of it? My prayer for you today is to not let offense, apathy, or pride keep you from the fullness of what God is doing in this hour. Church, it's time to wake up. The King is coming. Are you ready?